Hello everyone, Tyler with Diesel Laptops here. We're going to show you how to change parameters on a Detroit ECU. It is slightly different. Most other ECMs, you just go to the settings tab and there's a bunch, but on Detroit we're going to click on settings and then ECU settings. And then we're going to hit the start button down here. All right, so what's going to come up next here is a screen that basically says, hey, you need to fill out this special code form. And that special code form is just simply a form you fill out one time with us and you need to be on the internet in order to use it. So it's a liability thing for Texa. Uh, they also kind of want to track what people are changing things from and to in case there ever is an issue. So for them it's really a, it's a, good, a good thing at the end of the day for everybody. So now we're in the ECU settings you know, command that we're running. And <coughs> you'll notice that as I show you this, depending on what ECM you are connected to, keep in mind Detroit, they have actually several different ECMs. It might be one box, but there's a CPC, an MCM. Um, we're con actually connected to the SCR system, not even to the main engine right now. So it gets a little bit complicated in where you have to go in here to find what you're looking for. But let's hit the confirm button. And now you'll see we have an engine, we have a, a menu. So it says number 56, engine configuration. Up and down arrows to change, confirm to continue. So it gets a little weird how it's set up, but I'm using the up and down arrow to change. Now I'm on engine 57, fan configuration. You know, I can toggle back and forth. So on this, and let's go into engine configuration. Um, and now again, you'll see it's kind of like a, a sub menu. We're on the starter system for engine configuration, and we can change values, actual value, new value. Uh, you use your up and down arrows to kind of toggle in between these things. You can either use the ones on the keyboard or you can click with them um, you know, on the screen. So let's cancel and get out of here and go back a menu. And we'll tr see fan configuration, hit confirm. It says fan configuration where we hit the up arrow and pick different things to do with the fan. Nothing we really want to do here. Let's go back another menu and let's go all the way back out. So let's go change now to a different ECU. So we go to activations access another powertrain ECU. We hit confirm. It's saying access another one. We hit confirm. We have MCM. We have CPC. Let's go to that one. Hit confirm. And now we're still connected to the same physical ECM on the truck, just a different part of it. So Detroit's kind of unique how they have everything split up that way. So it'll take a second to connect to the other one. And we'll get a blank screen at first. It's kind of just a weird little glitchy thing with Texa. Um, the commands are in there, I promise you. What you need to do is just kind of click off of it onto something else. And then if you click back, they'll, they'll be there. All right, so just kind of a weird little thing there. But settings, and then go to ECU settings, and then hit start. And you will see that we now have uh, some different things will pop up here. And again, it's checking that web lock form and making sure you're online. All right, so we're in here to ECU settings. And we're going to hit the confirm button. And now you'll see we have a completely different menu system. So before we had number 56 and 57. Now we have number 1, 2, 3, 5, so on and so on. So these are the different menus. And then we have submenus underneath that. And we can get and do different things. So we'll check out one of these, one of these ones. But we'll page through a bunch of them here first. So... Um, just a little bit different to find your way and navigate through and find what you're looking for. So we're in that 15 cruise control, just kind of going through some different different ones there. But that's how you change parameters on a Detroit Mercedes. A little bit different. You don't go to that settings menu and find it. You go into that ECU settings command. So hopefully you found this video helpful, and we appreciate you watching. Thank you.